hello friends hope you all doing well today today in this video we'll discuss about the uh, difference of deciduous state and the permanent teeth here you can see uh, the uh, difference the normal difference between the primary and the secondary primary and the permanent teeth you can see that here whiter crown primary teeth in primary teeth the crown is whiter but in per per permanent teeth the crown is yellowish whitish yellowish white or gray or brown color and its overall uh, size is small but here in permanent teeth the permanent teeth is uh, larger overall size here roots is narrower here root is wider the general feature for the uh, deciduous teeth will now will dis, uh, discuss uh, now will discuss about the difference of the general feature of the deciduous and permanent teeth general feature like number of teeth type of teeth dental formula size color etc so number of teeth in deciduous teeth is 20 but the number of teeth in permanent dentition is for permanent dentition it is 32 and type of teeth here you know the in deciduous teeth the tooth are central incisor lateral incisor canine first and second molar and in permanent teeth the tooth are central incisor lateral incisor canine first and second more premolar and first second and third molar and here in dental formula in deciduous teeth is i for incisor c for canine m for molar so i two by two so incisor to this two and the canine teeth is one and the molar teeth is two here it is 2 1 2 3 I 2 C 1 P 2 M 3 2 1 2 3 it's equal to 16 here equal to 10 uh, size in deciduous teeth the size is small and in permanent teeth the size is large and the color so the color is white in deciduous teeth and permanent teeth it's yellowish white or gray or brown eruption eruption in jaw so begins the eruption begins at the eighth month after birth and get completed by 30 month of age and in permanent teeth it is begins at six years after birth and is completed by 30 by completed by 22 years of age and now root formation root is formed after one year of eruption here root is formed after three years of eruption seeding seeding means it's a term for um, for the laws of Shedding is a term for the laws of deciduous teeth. So shedding is 10 to 7 to 10 years of age. Yeah, do not undergo shedding. So now we'll discuss about the morphological feature. Now we'll discuss about the will differentiate about the to the and the morphological feature of the uh mercedeus teeth and the permanent teeth so number nine is shape the shape of the deciduous teeth is more bulbous bulbous means shape like bulb and so bulb is rounded so uh, the deciduous dentition denti, uh, dent teeth is more bulbous bulbous means rounded and the permanent teeth is not it's lays down bulbous dimension dimension is in deciduous teeth it's wider majoristally with short crown length and in permanent teeth it is 
uh, narrow mesio distally and long ground length the surface now the surface the alone is surface the facial and lingual or palatal surfaces are flat in surface the facial and lingual facial and lingual or palatal surfaces are flat and the facial and the lingual surfaces are convex in permanent teeth mavilons mavilons is absent in deciduous teeth and permanent dentition mammalons are present so what is mammalons mammalons is one of the three rounded protuberances which are present on the cutting edge of an incisor teeth uh, when the permanent incisors are come out you can see the uh, mammalons on the edges of the teeth and cingulum cingulum is more prominent uh, in deciduous teeth and it is less prominent in the permanent teeth prominent means the portion of the teeth that forms a convex protuberance at the cervical third of the crown of the anatomical crown uh, cingulum is less prominent in permanent teeth and more prominent in in deciduous teeth now the cusp and the cusp the cusp is short sharp and pointed and the in is in permanent teeth it is less sharp the occlusal surface occlusal surface is shallow here in deciduous teeth and is deep in permanent teeth the occlusal surface occlusal area the occlusal area is narrow buccolingually here it is wider buccolingually contact area contact area is the small and contact area here in permanent teeth is large the cervical line is more less curved in deciduous teeth and it is more curved in permanent teeth now the cervical ridge cervical ridge is more pronounced here in permanent teeth it is less pronounced the cervical constriction is more pronounced here the cervical pronoun uh, cervical uh, cervical constriction is less pronounced in permanent teeth now the root morphology the root morphology at first root of the length of the root the length of the root is shorter and slender in perma in maxillary in in this dual state and it is long and strong in permanent teeth crown or root form ratio crown root ratio is longer in deciduous teeth and and not as long as deciduous teeth in primary in in permanent teeth the root trunk not distinct here root trunk is long and distinct now the pulp morphology the pulp morphology pulp chamber is large here pulp chamber is small pulp canal is wide in in deciduous teeth and narrow in permanent teeth pulp horns extend incisally or occlusally it is do not extend incisally or occlusally here these are the uh, general difference about the uh, on deciduous dentition and permanent dentition thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular update thank you